Greetings folks. This is Eric and what we're going to do today is we're going to look at a script I wrote called JS Save One Tab Links E6. Okay, where can you find this script? You can find it on github.com slash codewizard13 right here in the URL box. And you just go ahead and click on this one, the second one down, JS Save One Tab Links ES6. And it will bring one file, and you click on that file, and you click raw, and then you select it. Control A, Control C, and okay. So what are we going to do with the script? All right. Well, let's look at what it says. It says program name, console, scrape one tab link. So we're going to go in, and we're going to scrape all the links from one tab. What's one tab? One tab is a extension for Chrome that I use quite a bit. And what it does is I'll show you. I got these three tabs right here. Well, let's say I had 50 tabs and I wanted to basically save those tabs in the order they're in. What happens is I go ahead and click the one tab button and it will suck them all into this one uh, basically dynamically generated web page somehow it stores I guess a, a cache object or something that it keeps reloading I'm not exactly sure how it works I'm pretty sure I remember a couple years ago I've been using this for over half a decade um, reading that it stores it in localhost local not local what am I saying um, local storage which is a function of HTML5 so you can see I have lots and lots and lots and lots of links and I mentioned the other day although I'm not sure I recorded it anywhere I may have but basically these links I need to store them somehow so I don't lose them how can you lose them? Well, if the computer crashes or Windows updates and that causes something to hang, uh, if this plugin gets corrupted in any way, boom, all those months and years of links gone. So what I need to do is offload those onto a web page. And here's how I do it. Actually, this isn't the right one. I have one tab on pretty much all my profiles. Uh, this one only has 28,045 tabs. So I'm going to go over here to this one that has almost 6,000 tabs. And the more tabs you have, the more it slows down your computer and takes time to load when you reboot and stuff like that. We've got our browser console opened. We've got almost 6,000 one tab links stored. And I wasn't going to show you this, but I'll just show you. This is what happens when you click one tab. Watch this. Boom. It just gets rid of those tabs and builds them into essentially some kind of module. And it says two tabs. And I can go in those tabs and I can say uh, just testing or something like that. Right? I can go in and I can name those groups even. So it stores the date it was created. Look, you want to see the earliest? Here's the earliest I have on here. 6-6-2019. So June of last year. Uh, a lot of tabs. On this one I have March of last year. And, and look, I can't. So we'll go over to the script that I showed you before. Go back to GitHub. We'll grab it. We're going to select it. This is written in vanilla ES6, so no uh, library dependencies or anything are needed. And we'll just control V in there. And you can do this too, because anybody can access my GitHub site. And just hit enter and watch the magic work. Okay, so what happens is 
it outputs into what looks like a web page, but it's not a web page. You see, it's an about blank, whatever that is. So what we need to do then is snatch it and put it into a web page. So first, let's save. I'm going to give this a name. Okay. EH. Just do EH bookmarks. 2020-1204. Why did I opt against the EHD? One, it would make it longer. And B, while I designed the program that scraped this and formatted it a little bit, I did not design the links themselves. So, you know, that's, it's not completely designed by me or not. So, that just indicates that, okay, I know that the bookmarks files were created by me. Some of my bookmarks files are generated by a browser or whatever. But in this case, it's all good. So then I say, okay, it's a Chrome browser. No, nope. then I indicate what computer it came from. 17, Chrome, and then Al ADV, which is my Alabama DaVinci profile. And I'll say 0101.htm and enter. Okay. I'll do an inspect and then I'll go all the way to the very top. And I'll, on body, I'll go edit as or, or copy and I'll do copy outer HTML. And then I'll come over here and I'll control V to paste, control S, control shift R to launch in the browser. Maybe that's not it. Control Alt Shift. There we go. And boom. Now I have an actual bookmarks file where all these bookmarks are stored. And I can go in here at any point and open those bookmarks. Take it to another computer. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, now that I got my scraped links output page. I can get rid of this other page. And what I'm going to do then, in order to not have too many, to like reduce the amount of duplicates that might be there, I'm going to go and let's take a look at something. Let's try export import URLs. Let's see what that does. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this is the following list of URLs can be imported back into one tab on this or a different computer. So it shows you that it basically just uses a pipe separated format. You know, the first part is your complete HTML or your, uh, your complete URL, followed by a space pipe space, and then the title of what you want your link to, to say. So you can build your own link if you want. What I'm gonna do, excuse me, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go about right here. Yeah, we'll do this one right here. And I'm gonna copy all these aside. Control C. And I am going to close out of this guy so I don't, don't accidentally write him over. Go there. All right, I'm just going to hold that there for now and notepad plus plus. We'll try this again. So I got my scraped output page and I'm going to right click on one tab and I'm going to go to remove from Chrome. Remove. And that's how you do it. Now it's gone. Now to put it back, what we do is we, and I'm going to go ahead and go to chrome.web, no, chrome.google.com slash web store. 
and we will go into extensions where we're at we'll do one tab all one word we we'll click this top one we'll click add to chrome add extension and it says one tab has been added and then we'll where'd it go okay we'll pin it so it's up there we'll click it now we'll go into options make sure to get it set the way i want it we'll allow duplicates and we'll keep tabs in my list when i launch them uh, okay and there we go now i'm going to import the ones that we saved aside <clears throat> excuse me so let's do this Control -A. And the reason I'm saving these ones is because these are the most recent things I was working on. I want to be able to, to know that. And let's see, .htm eh date. Modify bookmarks. Okay, so I can just open that right here. All right, so there's that. And I will just go ahead and save that. Now it's back in there. Right on top. Great. One tab. Bookmarks. 2020. 12. All righty. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, walkthrough of my process and get a little bit of idea about what my thinking is like and how I solve problems. Thank you for joining me. Eric Hepperly Designs and have a wonderful day.